latest release of QTM supports the new Arcus camera line, which can be synchronized with all other Qualysys camera series. Sixdoff bodies can now be added and updated from external software through the real-time protocol. It is also now possible to apply different smoothing filters to individual rigid bodies. As with rigid bodies, skeleton definitions can be specified through external software using the real-time protocol. You can also now scale the skeleton definition for streaming or exporting. The Qualysys Animation Marker Set has been updated with an improved shoulder definition and an improved toe base definition to handle a wider variety of footwear. When recording with a Toby eye tracker, QTM captures pupil data in addition to gaze vectors. You can also now smooth the position and direction data. Transparent meshes are now supported in QTM. You can easily enable or disable mesh rendering, both in 3D and in 2D overlay. You can also now specify your own meshes folder through project options. QTM now allows you to include virtual markers when creating a name model. There is also a new shortcut to apply aim during a capture. When using exposure delay mode, you can easily assign camera groups by right-clicking in the 2D viewer. You can also apply software masks to acquired data to filter out 2D markers during post-processing. In processing options, it is now possible to store the real-time data so that you can quickly review your capture before processing it further. QTM has been updated with generic force plate types that can be used to calculate data from force plates that are not directly supported by QTM. As always, you can find plugins and SDKs to correspond with the new QTM release at qualysys.com and the Qualysys GitHub page. Mm -hmm.